Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Micromotor Workshop. Today, I'm going to talk about props, about... Who's calling me? Hello, my friend. Off. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Come on over. Good. See ya. Bye bye. So, a B brain V2 has some problems. The doctor needs to help. Anyway, where did I stop? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Micromotor Workshop. I want to talk about propellers, radios, cameras, and I also want to announce the winner of the Micromotor Ruffle number three, the Shiny Whoop. Let's start with propellers. 40 millimeter, three bladed Rakon Heli props. I compared them on the thrust stand with the Inductrix FPV Plus props and the Tiny 7 and Claw props, and they perform pretty nicely almost as good as the Inductrix FPV Plus, and they stick on the shaft properly. Yeah, buddy. So out of those three, I think the Aracon Heli props are your best option. But then I also just discovered yesterday that Beta FPV makes some 40 millimeter four-bladed props. I'll order some, and I'll tell you about it later. Talking about props, TBS Micro Race props. Um, I've also put them on a thrust stand, compared them to the Echin E10 props, and performance-wise, I didn't really notice any difference, even across different motors. Perform the same. Also flew a couple of packs through it and didn't notice um, a difference in performance, just a slight difference in sound. However, when I look at them up close, they seem to be molded nicer. They are shinier and they don't have any burrs or any imperfections. And also the wings have some swing to it. So yeah, I like how they look. Doesn't perform really better, but you know, as a fetish item, I appreciate them. Talking about this quad here, this is a, a DSM whoop running a Beta FPV OSD FC with um, a DSM receiver connected over S bus. And I finally got it to work with my Spectrum DX6i. Just switch that sucker to DSM2 and suddenly, bam, you get some decent range out of this. Even though this receiver claims to be DSMX compatible, if I have this switched to DSM-X, which is the default, it fail saves after a couple of meters, put it to DSM-2, and it works really nicely. So that also means that I have a bunch of DSM whoops for sale. So if you're keen on a 7x16 BNF DSM whoop built by me, then come quickly over to my web shop. There won't be many of them, and it'll take a while to get more boards. This year's the Runcam Nano. I was pretty disappointed about it. So my search for a better whoop camera goes on. This year's the FXT T80. And um, I've only done a quick connected and look through the goggles test. And I was very pleased. So I've glued it to the frame here and give it um, a test flight this afternoon. By the way, I've glued it on with clear RTV silicone adhesive sealant. Very nice glue for stuff like that. It adheres very firmly to rough surfaces, so rough up the frame a little bit. The camera's rough enough already. Stick it on there and let it dry for 24 hours. A very firm bond, but it remains flexible. That means quick hard punches, crashes, deformation of the frame will not break it off. But if you need to take it back off, you can just grab and pull slowly and it will let go if you pull hard enough. Very nice glue. The Tyrannus X9E. 
one of my favorite radios of all time. I've just revived it by installing a M9 gimbal kit from Aloft that included the adapter rings you need to install. Apart from that, the M9 gimbals fit into this radio. And um, yeah, the reason I wasn't using it for a while is because the original gimbals have been worn out. And since I had to install a new firmware anyway, which is a bit of a pain in the behind on this radio, I've gone all the way, installed the latest 2.2 or RC1, including, guess what, special feature. Welcome, my friend, to OpenTX. Yeah, this radio now speaks Benedict. I don't know why you won't want that, but if you want that, you can Google the Benedict Tranus voice pack and install this on your radio. Now also compatible to OpenTX 2.2. And now for the announcement of the winner of the third Micromotor Ruffle. The prize was the shiny whoop and the drawing was a little unfair because one of you has purchased more than two thirds of the tickets. Well, I guess then it is actually fair drawing that you had a lot more chances to win. So, to no surprise, the prize goes to Mr. Greg Sutton in New Zealand. Congrats, buddy. I hope the shiny whoop brings some shine in your life. See you later.